Greetings, YouTube model train people. I have got another passenger car upgrade video. This time we have a dome car. And so far this has been the most difficult one I've had to do. Uh, it's not completely done. The rest of it is printing right now as we speak. But I'll show you what I've got so far. Um, so the top part here, which took several tries, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five tries, is basically this. And what you want to do is print this off probably first and populate it out, decorate it however you want to, and then glue it up in, just glue it up to the ceiling up there and let's see what it looks like now originally i was going to have like a stairs i was going to have a stairs that came up through here and for the circuit board i was going to have three separate or two or three separate circuit boards one on this side one on this side and then maybe one in the middle and i actually got into the design software started laying it all out and then i just had to catch myself i was like dude you're overthinking it it's not going in the space shuttle it's a model train so that's when i came back and decided to use the existing circuit board that I already had. But see, the issue I had is I couldn't, normally I would take this and mount it directly to the ceiling, but I can't here because this, this thing is in the way. And so there's about, there's a good centimeter gap here. And if I'd done it like I normally do, like all the components would be on the bottom here and you'd see it in through the window, you'd be able to see that. So what I did was I ended up mounting most of the components on the top side of the board. So it's up here where you can't see it, including the LEDs, which that actually works out pretty well because this, the ceiling here being shiny silver, the LED shines into that and it really diffuses out here. Let me show you. So... Yeah, so the LEDs shine up into the roof and kind of diffuse out. I'm pretty happy with the way it worked out. So these two right here, there was no way to do that. So I did have to mount those on the bottom. And you will be able to see those through the through the windows here. If you look just, if you look up through there, you'll see those. But it is what it is. There wasn't much I could do about that. Um, I was able to do that because... Um, this is Let me grab. these circuit boards are what's called through hole technology. Um, they drill these holes and then they they copper plate through the holes. So say like this pad on this side is electrically connected to this pad on the side through that copper plating. That means you can, as long as you get the polarity correct, as long as you get the correct wire through the correct hole, you can physically mount the components on either side of the board. It doesn't matter. So that's what I did here. To I used that to my advantage to mount all the stuff up here, you know, to the top where you wouldn't see it. Otherwise, because those capacitors are pretty good size, you would easily th see that through the window. So yeah, that... That's the lighting, and I will pause it here, and hopefully in a few, an hour or less, we'll have the bottom to show you. Okay, here's the single color print on the first attempt. I've got a couple little 
the chairs aren't quite lined up over here. I'm going to make a couple little adjustments and do a color print. Okay, so the final print is done here and ready to start populating it out. Okay, so just like that, all the passengers are loaded on board and put it back together. All right, here it is with the rest of the consist. Look in the windows. So I think the next thing I'm going to work on, I've got, I'm trying to design some 3D printable diaphragms to go between, like between the cars. So that hopefully will be in an upcoming video. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.